Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you're unfamiliar with the channel, my name is Matt Smithers and this is Unusual Attitudes, the channel where you get to see some of the world's most unique aircraft. Speaking of unique, man, we've got a cool airplane that just kind of showed up today. I couldn't pass up the opportunity to bring it to you, even if it's not going to be as in-depth of an interview as I like to do and we won't be able to jump in the cockpit and take it flying and really look around it. It's locked and closed up, but it is here and uh, I want to show it to you. And I thought it'd probably be a good idea to come out here and get a little bit of footage of it uh, because it normally doesn't come out of the hangar. It's not like it's a classified airplane or anything, but it's one of those kind of a need to know, need to be around it kind of a thing. And I typically don't need to be around it, so I'm not. Uh, so let's go check it out. It is the WB57. Another 426, clear for takeoff runway 11. So the WB-57 that we have over here, it's actually a licensed version of the Martin British English Electric Canberra that was manufactured by the Glenn L. Martin Company. Now, the U.S. Air Force used a whole bunch of these. Uh, there were 403 of them that were made. And in 1983, the Air Force retired the 57s, or the B-57s. There were several different variants of them. Uh, this is built on the uh, B-57 Foxtrot. And NASA acquired three of them. So right now we have the last three remaining airworthy WB-57s or B-57s. funny, after spending a few extra minutes looking at the airplane itself and not looking at it through the lens of the camera, I am just taken aback at the size of this wing. It's like, yeah, you walk past it and you've seen it before, and you think, wow, it's got a really long wing on it. But when you stand here and look at it from this perspective, the swept area of this wing is incredible. The fact that it sits so incredibly low to the deck is amazing to me. I'll stand next to it and in kind of a weird way I'll put the camera up and you can kind of see how low it sits to the ground. I mean, I'm not the tallest guy in the world and the end of this wingtip is at knee level to me. 